Maybe you are a beginner Amazon seller, or maybe you are someone that is still on the hunt to finding your next winning product. Whatever the case is, I got you because in this video, we will be doing product research together. I will show you a complete step-by-step -step product research tutorial to help you find your next winning product so you can make money selling on Amazon FBA. My name is Tamara T. I have been selling private label products on Amazon for six years. I've also mentored thousands of people just like you how to start successful Amazon FBA businesses. I promise you by the end of this video, you will know exactly how to find a winning product to sell on Amazon that can make you money over and over again. This will be the beginning of your journey to achieving financial freedom. If you find any value in this video, then make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. This product research tutorial is nothing you've seen before. Anyone can get started, even if you are on a budget, even if you are a student, even if you are a busy parent, or if you already have a full-time job. This is possible for everyone to make an additional few thousand dollars every month. Let's dive right in. The title of this video says it all. We will be using Helium 10 software to help you find your winning product to sell on Amazon FBA. If you did not sign up for Helium 10 just yet, then all you need to do is head on down to the YouTube description box below, click on the Helium 10 link, and you will land on this website right here. Click on get 20% off for six months. The discount code to use to save money on Helium 10 is FBA Winners 20. Click on that. Make sure you enter your name, email address, and password to create a Helium 10 account. Make sure you are on the platinum plan so you can follow along in this tutorial. And if you decide not to sign up for Helium 10, then I'm sorry, you cannot do product research at all. So the first thing we want to do is go to tools and then go to black box Amazon product research. This is the traditional way to find winning products to sell on Amazon. Go to category and subcategory. Today, I want to look in arts, crafts, and sewing. Typically, I love to sell in the toys and games category. I've made seven figures selling in this category, but let's try something a little different today. This is my second favorite category. Next, let's enter our review count. So basically, it is asking for the total number of customer reviews when you are doing product research. Let's start off with at least 25 reviews and the max number of reviews that I want to look at for products is 400. Now, the reason why I am keeping review count low is because I am interested in seeing new products that have been launched. I do not want to focus on products that were launched two years ago with thousands of reviews because that would mean it's very hard for us to compete with other sellers for a specific product. For the weight of the product, we are going to put maximum three pounds. You can enter two to three pounds. Personally, I like to sell products that are lower in weight so I can lower my Amazon FBA fees. When you guys do fulfillment by Amazon, by the way, we are checking this off, it means that Amazon is doing all the customer service, packing and shipping to your customers while you get to sit back and focus on other things in your life and in your business. So Amazon will take a small commission for every unit sold. Therefore, if we choose a product to sell that is lower in weight, then we can lower our Amazon FB fees. If you choose a product that is heavier, you end up paying more fees. And I don't want you guys to pay more fees. Shipping size will be small and large. So similar to what I just said, if you sell big products and heavy products, you will pay more Amazon FBA fees, and that is not what we want, so we will stick to standard size. Next is variation count. This is the number of product variations. 
For example, if you are selling a beach ball, you probably do not want to launch a product when your competitors are selling 10 different color beach balls. And the reason for that is because since you are new to the marketplace, it's very hard to compete with other sellers when they are selling a ton of variations for a specific product. So the max variation count for your winning product should be no more than two to three. This means that if you were to sell your beach ball, for example, your competitors will only sell up to two variations. That way you have a chance to compete compared to selling a product where other sellers are offering 10 variations or even 20 variations and you have one product that is going to be very hard for you to make sales. And of course, I want you guys to make sales. Now, there are some other options here that I am not going to focus on because it's not important to find your winning product in this tutorial. For the price point, I am going to punch in $13 to $28. You do not want to sell a product on Amazon where the price point is too low because that would mean you are not making that much profit. And you also do not want to sell a product with a price point that is too high because then it would become too expensive for customers to purchase your product. Monthly revenue, we are looking at $15,000 to $50,000. I find this is a good starting point, especially if you are someone that wants to make anywhere between $3,000 to $10,000 in profit every month. If I take out my calculator and I multiply 15,000 by a 30% profit margin, 30% profit is what we want to aim for when we sell our products on Amazon, which means every 30 days you can expect to profit $4,500 per month, which is a good starting point. And the max amount of revenue is $50,000. So if we uh, multiply that by 30% profit margin, then you will bring home over $15,000 in profit every 30 days. So this is just a good starting point. If you guys are feeling risky, then you guys can always increase the monthly revenue. But for starters, I always like to keep it fairly low. But do not make this too low or else you will end up not making much money every month. And again, I want you guys to make money. Notice that we are doing product research under the products tab. I've previously done other Amazon product research tutorials using keywords or the other tabs over here. So if you want to watch other product research tutorials focusing on different ways to look for products, then make sure you check out my most recent product research tutorial right here. Okay, now when we are finished entering our criteria, click on search. So you guys will enter the same criteria so you can find products in your category. Now Helium 10 is pulling up all the products in this criteria. So it says that they found about 116 items, which is pretty good. What you do not want is to see thousands and thousands of products right here because it becomes very overwhelming. If that happens to you, all you need to do is go to edit filters and try to narrow down on what you are trying to search. So for example, if you see thousands of items listed right here, then maybe you want to lower your review count or maybe you want to change this from three pounds to two pounds. So that way you are narrowing down the product selections. Next, I want to sort the monthly sales from big to small. I want to look at products that are selling the most within this criteria. So it looks like these glass beads are making over 3,200 monthly sales. This is too much for me and personally, I am very familiar with this product category and I don't suggest you guys to sell beads because there are already successful sellers selling beads. So let's keep scrolling. This is um, acrylic paint markers. This seems like it's a little more complex to source and right away, I know that there could be potential issues. For example, I know someone that tried to sell this product and the pens ended up to be very dry. So we want to choose a product where we can think 
instantly there will not be many problems. That way we can get more positive reviews for our product. So this looks like it's acrylic paint markers for wood, a little too complex. Okay, this one looks simple. This is felt sheets for crafts. So this is just a 60 pack of sheets and it looks super simple. Like what can go wrong with sheets? So I'm just going to open this on Amazon, click on that guy. And if we go back here, let's just see what's going on. The price point is 14 bucks. Um, it's selling 2,200 units per month. The monthly revenue is $31,000, which is really good. So if I take out my calculator, we do 31, a three multiply that by a 30% profit margin, which I teach you guys how to do, then you can expect to bring home $9,500 every 30 days. Pretty nice, right? So I really like this product. It looks like it's, uh, you know, pretty light and best sales period was in December. Obviously we just passed Christmas. So everything checks out. So let's just use this product and see if it is our winning product. Actually, it looks like the next product right here could be a winner as well. This is pressed flower themed stickers. When I see the word stickers for uh, journaling or scrapbooks, I instantly think, okay, there's very little issues that can go wrong with sourcing stickers compared to, again, a product like this. It can end up dry. It can end up uh, very light colored with beads. We could be missing a few pieces. So it's always good to source a product where you can think to yourself right away that very little issues can go wrong. So I'm just going to open this on Amazon as well. So we can have this in the background if we decide that this product is not the product that we want to sell. So right here, it's felt sheets for crafts. Let's take this main keyword. This is the keyword for this product and let's enter it into the search bar right here. Felt sheets for crafts, because I want to look at all the felt sheets for crafts and see if I have a chance to sell this product. Without scrolling, I want to go to my Helium 10 Chrome extension. By clicking on X-ray, I can get all the numbers for all the sellers on the first page. If you do not have your Helium 10 Chrome extension installed like how I do, then make sure you go to your Chrome web store, search for Helium 10 and download the extension so you can follow along. If you do not have the Helium 10 Chrome extension installed, then I'm sorry, unfortunately, you cannot follow along. So let's go back to the x-ray. And what I want to do is you can sort the revenue from big to small, or you can sort the sales from big to small. We just want to look at a few of the top sellers to see how they are doing. And this will give us an idea if we have a shot at selling this product as well. And of course, we are going to make our product better, make it different, so customers will buy our product. So the top seller here is not our product. Remove this product because this is a character sheet. I actually don't know what this is, but it is not felt sheets for crafts. So trash this product. Right here is felt fabric sheet. So this is our product, but notice the price point is very low. It's $6.68 and we definitely do not want to sell a product for that low of a price. As I mentioned earlier, we want to sell a product that is above $13 or else it's very hard for us to make a profit. Right here, we have self-adhesive fabric liners for $7.99. So a few of these are not the product that we want to sell, it looks like this one is, and this one is priced for $6.45, which is too low of a price point. This one is a low price point as well. So it looks like most of these have a low price point. And the highest price points I can see is this one right here. But this seller already has 2,714 reviews. So this means if I try to come in here and source my version of the felt sheets for crafts, it is very unlikely that I can compete and make some money because there is already one seller with thousands of reviews that's making some decent sales. 
For the rest of the sellers, it looks like we have a price war and everyone is just trying to lower their price to get sales. So this is a product that we don't want to sell. I hope everything that I just explained made sense. You don't want to go after a product where the price point is so low among so many sellers and there's only one seller that has a higher price point making a decent sales, but the number of reviews are high, so we should probably steer away from this product. So let's look at this product. This is the pressed flower themed stickers. Let's put that into the Amazon search bar, paste that. Okay, so let's look at x-ray. This looks a little more promising just by looking at a few of the products right here. Pretty good price points, very low reviews. Look at that. Very low reviews. That is a really good sign. I'm sure you guys know by now that when you are choosing a product to sell on Amazon, you should probably focus on products with lower reviews. Remember, our review count should be between 25 to 400 reviews. And the other product that we were looking at with the higher price point had a 2,714 reviews. Pretty scary, so stay away. Anyways, let's go back to here, go to uh, X-Ray, and let's check out this product. I have a really good feeling about this product, so let's check it out. Sort the sales from big to small. All right, let's see what we have. So price point is looking a little better for this one. It only has 93 reviews. They are selling uh, their theme stickers for 15 bucks and it's making $32,000 per month. This is a really good sign. And then we have this seller with 416 reviews, 14 bucks, $28,000 every month. So there are a few top sellers making a crazy amount of money with a good price point and extremely low reviews. This is exactly where we want to be. Let me just look at the revenue from big to small. Just click on the column and you guys can do the same. So there are more than a handful of sellers that are making over $10,000 in revenue per month. So this is a good sign. And just by looking at this product, I know there is room for differentiation. You can easily tell by looking at the main images for the top sellers. You can also list your product for a higher price as long as you add more value. So just by looking at this data, I can see a lot of green lights. Let's move on to the next step, which is sourcing the product from Alibaba.com. But before we move on to the next step, if you guys are new Amazon sellers and you need one-on-one -on -one help to find your winning product that can make over $10,000 every month, then make sure you get my free Amazon training in the YouTube description below. Click on the free training link. You will end up on my website right here. Enter your name, enter your email address, and watch my short 15-minute webinar training to the end where you get to apply for a free one-on-one -on -one call with my team, and we will walk you through beginning to end how to find profitable products to sell on Amazon. We will explain to you the three-step blueprint we all use to find products that can generate over $10,000 every month. If you guys want to get more product ideas, then you can watch this YouTube video right here where I talk about the best types of products to sell in 2024. Okay, finally, we are in our last step of product research. We want to look at the profits for this product. So let's take one of the top sellers. Let's take this seller right here. Go to your Helium 10 Chrome extension. Click on the profitability calculator to give you an idea on how much profit you can possibly make by selling this product. Please remember this. The numbers that you see right here on the screen is not the prices for you. Helium 10 is just doing an estimate for this specific seller. For example, it's estimating that their unit manufacturing cost is $2.80. Well, we saw earlier on Alibaba.com that the unit manufacturing costs can start at about 42 cents each and it can go up to a dollar, was it a dollar 50 or something? Anyway, this pricing is wrong. So I'm just going to put in a dollar because this was the average cost per unit that we saw on Alibaba.com. 
So make sure you get the dimensions and weight from your supplier on Alibaba.com and edit all these fields. And only after that, it will give you a definite profit margin. You cannot just use what Helium 10 estimated for you because this is for a different seller. Anyways, we just edited the unit manufacturing cost, which is around $1 from what we saw on Alibaba.com. Everything else, I'm just going to leave the way it is because this is a tutorial. And again, you should be editing these numbers based on what your supplier tells you. The dimensions, weight, how much you want to sell the product for. It's so important that you edit this with what your supplier gives to you. So if we just use this example, it seems like the net profit for every unit sold between January to September is $6.56, which is really good. And the profit margin is over 46%, hovering just under 47%, which is really damn good. This is exactly where we want to be. We do not want to sell products where the profit margin is below 30%, and we do not want to sell a product where the net profit for every unit sold is too low. If you're making like two bucks for every unit sold, that is pretty bad, right? So make sure your net profit is over $5. That's usually what I like to aim for. So for every unit sold, I pocket five bucks. And of course, the higher, the better. The more profit you can make from your product, the better. All right, so this wraps up our product research tutorial. I know there were tons of steps being discussed in this video, so let's quickly review everything from the beginning before I let you guys go. Step one, go to Helium 10 Tools, Black Box Amazon Product Research. Click on that and enter the criteria that we went over today. This will pull up all the potential products that you can sell on Amazon. Once you find a product that you want to sell, this will be step two. Click on that product listing. Copy the main keywords. In our case today, it was pressed flower themed stickers. Then you want to punch it into the Amazon search bar to look at all your competitors on the first page. Step three, pull up your Helium 10 Chrome extension. Click on X-ray Amazon product research. Now we can see all the numbers for our competitors on the first page. Analyze everything that you see on the screen to see if this is a good product to sell. Step four, go to Alibaba.com to find out how much it will cost per unit for you to sell this product. Or you can click on the find suppliers on Alibaba button in X-ray. So after I click on this, I want to look at whether or not I can afford selling this product. In our case today, the cost per unit was very low. So that was a good indication that I can go ahead to source this product. It's very cheap to source. Step five, go to one of the top sellers product listings and use the profitability calculator to give you an idea on how much profit you can possibly make for every single unit sold. Reminder here, make sure that you edit these numbers that you get from your supplier so everything is accurate. Then you want to make sure that you are happy with the net profit for each and every unit sold and that you are happy with the profit margin. Again, profit margin should be ideally above 30%. If it is under 30%, then that is probably a product not worth selling on Amazon. If you have any questions for me today, then make sure you drop it in the comment section below. Please help me give this video a huge thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in my next YouTube video.